Hey guys, welcome back to the Homelab series. In this video, we are going to be installing our Analyst VM. We're going to be using this virtual machine to access the web interface for security again to analyze logs and network traffic that we generate whilst we're hacking. So we are going to install our Analyst VM, which is essentially an Ubuntu desktop. And then we are going to import our first PCAP and see how we can do that. So we are not going to be downloading Ubuntu 22.0 for LTS. That is because I've been having problems installing guest editions for VirtualBox. And if you've been using VirtualBox for a while, you should know that if you install the virtual machine using an ISO, you're going to want to install VirtualBox guest editions for that virtual machine so that you can have things like a shared clipboard, you can full screen, you can use multiple screens, etc. So with Ubuntu 22, I don't think it works yet. So we're gonna be using Ubuntu 21. Alternative downloads. Yeah, alternative downloads, and then scroll down a tad bit, and you'll see Ubuntu 21. It's called Impish Indri. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Download the desktop image. We don't want the server image. We want the desktop so that we have a nice GUI, right? So download this. I already have it downloaded. So I'm gonna just bring out my virtual box. Here it is. And what we wanna do is make a new machine, right? Machine, new. We are going to call this analyst VM. I'm going to change the machine folder. Type is going to be Ubuntu, I mean Linux, and then version Ubuntu. Where are you, Ubuntu 64 bit? I always have a hard time finding it. It is somewhere though. There it is, Ubuntu 64 bit. Click on next. I'm going to give mine seven gigabytes of RAM. Pretty sufficient. You can give yours however much you need. And then 10 gigabytes of disk space is enough. All right, that is created. But before we power it on, we're gonna have to configure a few things. Firstly, I'd like to enable the bi-directional shared clipboard. No, this is drag and drop. I want the shared clipboard. And then drag and drop, we don't need that. System, I'll give it two cores, display, uh, I don't need to change any of that. And in the storage, we need to add or attach the ISO we just downloaded. Choose that to attach it. Go to network, put it on the NAT network, which is our management interface. I'm pretty sure I've discussed that a few times already now. And that should be it. We don't need to configure anything else here. If we want a shared folder, you can always add one later, right? So power this on. The installation might take a while. Here is the machine starting up. We want to install Ubuntu. Like I said before, if it does this, just hit capture. And if you ever get stuck inside the window, like I have here, just use the right control to get out. So we want to Ubuntu. The first thing hit enter. Okay. We have the screen. Now we want to run through the installation. We don't want to try Ubuntu. We want to install Ubuntu. Click on install, choose your language, continue. I want a minimal installation. I don't need everything else, the games and the media players. And then erase disk, install now, continue. Choose your time zone. I am in CT, so that works. My name is Tadi. Uh, computer's name is gonna be analysts, VM, no spaces. Username is fine. Choose a password and then log in automatically. And if you want to use Active Directory, which we will do at some point, you can enable this, but you can always do that later as well. Continue. And now it's going to install. This part takes the longest, so I'll be back when it's done. All right, cool. The installation is finished and it prompted me to reboot. I did that and now you're back here. So it has automatically logged us in because we told it to do so. And we do not want to upgrade. We are trying to avoid Ubuntu 22 for now, right? Skip this, don't send if info. Uh, just go next here. You can remind me later about software updates. And we are done, we are done. We have Ubuntu 21 installed. 
if you try to go full screen, it's not going to work because we don't have guest editions installed yet. So hit on this hamburger thingy. It doesn't look like a hamburger menu, but you know what I mean. Open up the terminal, add it to favorite so that it's always there. Pseudo up apt update. That's the first thing you want to do. Just update your repositories and all that. Once this is done updating, what you want to do is install VirtualBox guest editions. So click on devices, click on insert guest edition CD image, and it should prompt us to run a script automatically. All we have to do is insert our password. So it says confirm contain software intended to be run automatically. Would you like to run it? We want to run it and just enter the password you used before and it will run. Once this is finished running, we need to reboot so that we can actually get into full screen mode and then we'll analyze our first PCAP. Actually, no, we're not analyzing yet. We're just going to import the PCAP and just see what the web interface looks like and how to actually import a thing. So while this is running, what we want to do is start our security onion so that it doesn't take too long after we've rebooted it. Start security onion here, press enter to close this window and then reboot. Then we also have a security onion here. Okay, now that we have our Ubuntu machine running, our analyst VM running, and security onion running as well, we need to do a few things. So as you can see, we can now go full screen, but we shall not do that yet, right? What we want to do in security onion is check the IP address, which I've already done here. My IP address is 10.0.2.22, which is what I'm going to use to access the web interface for security onion. If I open up a web browser, which shouldn't take too long, but it is taking quite a bit of time. Okay. If I open up a web browser and navigate to 10.0.2.22, it's not going to show me anything. It's going to timeout and that is it because we haven't configured security onion to allow access from this virtual machine IP address. So we want to go to our terminal type in IPA and this is the IP address of this virtual machine, right? 10.0.2.27. What you want to do now is go to security onion, which is here. And run the following command sudo so allow right enter your password and then it's going to prompt you for a few things what we want to do is type an a to add an analyst right type a and then it says enter a single ip address or range what now what we want to do now here is enter the ip address of our analyst machine which is 10.0.2.27 and hit enter and it says it's adding that IP address to the analyst role, which can take a few seconds. So that is done. Now, if we try this again, try go to 10.0.2.22. Now we can see that privacy matters. I don't want to disable this. Now we can see that we get a security warning, which we can just accept. It doesn't matter and we get a login page for security onion. This is pretty great, right? And now we're going to use that email address you put in earlier to log in Enter your password. Don't save and you have security onion, which is pretty cool. We have the overview, the alerts tab, which has nothing because we don't have anything in it. Dashboard, our hunt interface cases, PCAP, ETC, ETC, right? So what we want to do now is using our analyst VM, we want to SSH into security onion. Yes. Enter the password. Who am I? Toddy host name security onion, right? We are in our security onion. If we ls, you see that we have one directory. We are in the home folder of the user toddy. I want to make a directory called pcaps, which is where I'm going to store, install all my pcaps, right? And cd into pcaps. There's nothing in there. What we want to do right now is import a pcap that we can analyze. 
this is just me showing you how you would import an actual PCAP that you have saved from your network. So one place you can download PCAPs for analysis is a uh, malware traffic analysis. All right, Google that you should see it here. If you go to the about page, you will see the password for all the files you're going to download on this thing because they are password protected zip files. So go to the about page just to look at the password, come back and then you want to download the zip file. So copy, copy link, go back to the terminal, W get the link, paste it. And we have this PCAP file. Well, the zip file at least. So hopefully you can see. So we have the zip file. What we want to do is unzip this, enter the password. And now you have two files. So I'm going to just remove one of them. And we have one file left. I'm going to just clear my screen. LS. So we have that. To import the PCAP into Security Onion, we run the following command sudo so import PCAP. And then the name of the PCAP we want to import, which is 22, 2022, yada, yada, yada. Hit enter enter the password and it is going to import the PCAP. Okay, now that this has run and it is done, as you can see, it generated a URL for us. You can click on this and it should open up in the web browser. Well, no, control enter and it should open up in the web browser. And as you can see, if you go to your hunt interface, there's nothing alerts. There's nothing because of the date. The issue is the date. So if you change the date from last 24 hours to last 24 weeks or months, as long as that time frame is included, now some data pops up. And as you can see, there's a ton of things we can look at. If you go to alerts, change the date still last 24 months. There is nothing in alerts, dashboard, there's a few things here. So it seems the alerts panel does not have anything, but the hunt and dashboard has quite a few things. This is it. This is how you would actually import a PCAP and then you can begin analyzing it and security onion. So I'm going to end this video here. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next one.